What's up, y'all? Happy Monday. We have another heart healthy workout today. We have legs on this good Monday, okay? We are working every part, the calf muscles. We're working those glutes. Let's go. But first, you need to warm up, okay? Find you a treadmill and do about 15 minutes. You can do about three miles per hour on a 1% uh, percent incline. Okay, just get your body nice and warm. All right, first up, we have squats to calf raises. Okay, make sure those feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to go straight down into the squat and straight up like one motion into the calf raise. Do not pause at the top. Okay, as you go down into your squat, you want to reach your butt back as if you're reaching for a chair. All right, and squeeze those glutes when you come up. Now, my hands go into prayer hands. Um, that's just quite natural for me. You don't have to. Uh, just know that your hands do propel you into the squat. Now, here's a modification. Find a chair, find the couch, um, anywhere to sit on. And you want to sit in the middle and not so much as the edge. You don't want to be reaching too far back in that squat. Come straight up, okay? There may be a pause at the top here, but that's okay. You can tap like so, or you can do a full sit down. Now, if you choose to do the full sit down, just know you are actually doing more work to get back up. OK, taps are just quick and come back up. All right. Next up, we are going down on all fours. You want to put something down um, into the ground like a pillow or something just to kind of shield those knees. We get on all fours and we're going straight into donkey kicks. All right. Kick straight back into the air. OK. If you notice, as my leg comes back in, my knee never touches the ground. It, this is a continuous motion. We are burning those glutes, okay? We're really working glutes here. All right, you can do one leg for one full round, or you can alternate legs per round. It's totally up to you, okay? If you notice right here, you can really see my glutes working. You will feel tightness in your back, your hamstrings, and your butt. All right, next we have rear leg raised squats. You want that off leg that's not on the ground to be anchored on something that's stable like a chair. Go far enough away where you can get into a really good squat without compromising your knees. Okay, you want to keep your knees and your ankles in alignment, right? Watch my knees as I go down. It's not going too far over my ankles. Okay. And we're going into a deep squat here. Don't lock your leg out at the top. You can do a little pause, but keep it loose. Keep your knees nice and loose and go straight down. Now, for these, you want to do both legs so you can alternate rounds. Or you can do 15 seconds one leg, 15 seconds the other leg. Okay. All right. Next up, we are back on all fours. Working these glutes again, guys. We're going to have some nice glutes. These are fire hydrants. OK, you will see why they are called fire hydrants. It's like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant, actually. All right. We're going to go as our leg goes up. We turn our heads. It's just natural for me. OK, I think that it's also safer to keep that spine in alignment. All right. Make sure you get that leg all the way up. As you notice, my foot is flexed, pointed up. OK, keep everything tight. You can see a better a view of my leg here all right you can do both sides uh, 15 seconds one side 15 seconds the other side and one round or you can always alternate rounds all right those are your fire hydrants lastly we got backwards lunges it is what they say it is literally you're stepping back and kneeling down all right I usually call lunges proposals if you kind of think of it that way or think of a tying your shoe, you, you'll keep a really good form, okay? You step back, but not too far back that you reach in a whole lot. You want to keep those knees nice and safe. All right, here's um, uh, kind of more advanced with your hand on your head. Your hips actually help you to stabilize, right? You keep that core tight. As always, find something to stare at so you can always keep your balance. I like backwards lunges much better than forward lunges. All right. Now it is time to work. Okay. We got four rounds today. 
As always, we have 30 seconds of exercise followed by 15 seconds of rest, okay? Whenever it is three seconds left, either to exercise or rest, you will hear three dings. And then at the end, there will be one big ding to let you know it's either time to rest or it's either time to exercise, all right? So without further ado, let's hit those legs. All right, great job finishing up round one. Let's rest up for round two.
Great job with round two. Listen, we are at the halfway point. I know those legs are on fire. Those glutes are burning, but you got this. Let's go. All right, that was round three. If you can do three rounds, you can knock this last one out, okay? Suck it up. You can do it. Let's go.
great job listen you don't have to see legs for a whole nother week all right great job finishing all four rounds i'll see you back here tomorrow let's get it